Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Allahumma salli wa salim ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi fi kuli lahazatin abada ala ni'amillahi wa zalihi. Allahumma atina miladunka rahmah wa alimna miladunka ilma subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'alamtana innaka anta al-alimul hakim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nawainat ta'alluma wa ta'alim wa tazakura wa tazkir wa naf'a wa lintifa' wa lifada wa lisifada. Walhasa ala tamasuki Bi kitabillahi wa sunnati rasulihi Surullahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahabihi wa salam Wa dua ila al-huda wa dalalah Al-khair Ibtigha'a wajhillah wa maradatihi Wa qurbihi thawabihi Subhanahu wa ta'ala ma'a lutfin wa afiyatin Bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma inna nasadka la'an Maladunya masyarakat sawafiyan hani Ya wahab ya ghani Allahumma inna nasadka la'an Maladunya masyarakat sawafiyan hani Ya Wahab, Ya Ghani Allahumma inna nasadaka la'alma ladunni wa masyabah sawafir hani Ya Wahab, Ya Ghani Allahumma salli wa salim wa ala salina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Allahumma alhimna alma nufaqih bihi awamiraka wa nawahiyaka wa razuqna fahman na'arifu bihi kaifu al-najika ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma inna nasadaka fahman nabiyin wa hifzal mursalin wa ilhamal malaikat al-mugharrabin في عافية يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أغنا بالعلم وزينا بالحلم أكرمنا بالتقوى وجملنا بالعافية يا أرحم الراحمين آمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم إن نستودع كما قرأناه وما نقرأه في هذا المجلس وما قبله وما بعده فاحفظه علينا حتى ترده إلينا وقت احتياجنا إليه يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أكرمنا بنور الفهم وأخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وافتح لنا أباب رحمتك وانشر علينا حكمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم يا من مقض الأمور كلها كله بيده وإليه يرجو الأمر كله يا فتاح يا عليم يا فتاح يا عليم يا فتاح يا عليم افتح علينا فتحا قريبا وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقضى من لساني يفقه قولي وسدد لساني وهدي قلبي أفعل كذلك بأحبابي أبدا ورزقنا كمال فتوح العارفين والفق في الدين مع كمال إخلص الغليقين والعافية وغنى ونسل وحفظ ونفع والانتفاع وخيرات الدارين وعلم الأولين والآخرين آمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة Okay, Alhamdulillah. Um, okay, Bismillah. Anyone would like to try uh, to recite today? Wal Malakul Lazi. Anyone? Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal Malakul Lazi bila abin wa um. لا أكل لا شرب ولا نوم لهم تفصيل عشر من هم جبريل ميكال إسرائيل عزرائيل من كان كير ورقيب وكذا عتير مالك ورضوان حدذا أربعة من كتب تفصيلها طورة موسى بالهدى تنزلها زابور داودا وإنجيل على عيسى وفرقان على خير الولا وسحف الخليل والكليم فيها كلام حكى من عليم وكل ما أتى به الرسول فحقه تسليم والقبول إيمان نبي يوم الأخير وجب وكل ما كان به من العجب 
خاتمة في ذكر باقي واجبي مما علم كلف من واجبي نبينا محمد قد أرسل للعالمين رحمة وفضل أبوه عبد الله عبد المطالب وهاشم عبد مناف ينتسب وأمه أمينة الزهرية أرضعته حليمة السعدية مولده بماكة الأمينة وفاته بطيبة المدينة أتم قبل الواحي أربعين وأمه وأمره قد جاوز ستين وسبعة, وسبعة أولادهم فمنهم ثلاثة من الذكور تفهم قاسم وعبد الله وهو الطيب والطاهر بزين ذا يلقب آتاه إبراهيم من سريا فأمه أمين وفأمه مرية القبطية وغير إبراهيم من خديجة هم ستة فخذ بهم وليجة وأربع من الإناث تذكر رضوان رب للجميع يذكر فاطمة الزهراء بعلها علي وابنهما سبطاني فضلهم جلي بسم الله okay. So continuing from yesterday's lesson We here Bismillah. Yeah. Right, so we were here yesterday. Alright, so continuing with our lesson, Bismillah. So yesterday we were, um, you know, for that. Oh, there. Yeah. Okay, actually, we finished the, uh, the part about the day of judgment, right? Iman and Akhiri Wajab, wa kulli makana bihi min al ajab. And we spoke about the different uh, events that will happen on the day of uh, on the day of judgment. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad. And we spoke about the different events that will happen on the day of judgment, correct? Um, someone. Okay, got it. <laughs> Okay, so we are at uh, we finish all, eh? Do we finish all? Do you all? I think yeah, we finish all. Can the ruya had the ruya uh ruya to Allah Taala, the the gaze upon Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's countenance right up till the end of it, whereby those are ni ila robihan na alvira. Tamam is here. Is this the ayat? The shafaa we did the shafaa. Tamam here. Right. Um. Whereby the you will. Eventually, gaze at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's skills. Ta'ala, ta'ala, ta'ala. Is that all uh, the sirat then? I didn't go up. Tamam. Wujuhi yawma idhin nadirah ila rabbiha nadirah. Right, so that is the last part. The spot of the judgment. And of course, there are other um, uh, amazing things in the day of judgment. And a lot of things that we, that we find about news about it will come from uh, the Quran as a primary source. And then as an expansion on the Quran will be the hadith of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And he tells us about it sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, so the next part. Khatimatan fi zikri baki wajibi mima ala mukallafin min wajibi. Nabiyuna Muhammad qal ursila lila alamina rahmatan wa fudila. Right, so here, right, the first thing that we see here is that um, so 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 he has he has finished, you no, know, he has finished uh, what was sent to him, Imam Marzuki, and he added on a few more lines about the Day of Judgment, right, and then now he's going to go into Sirah, and he's going to speak about uh, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and what is important for every mukallaf to know minimum of what every mukallaf is to know, you know, about our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it's not, um, I mean, it is it is it is surprising as well as not surprising that if you were to just stop any random um, like Muslim uh, anywhere in, in Singapore or anywhere in Malaysia or anywhere, like a random person, they're not going to a madrasa or something as a random person, and you ask them details about, just very simple details about Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that a lot of people are unable to answer. Right? Like to the point that um, when, I, when, I, when I first came back from Dari and I was asking some of my own family members, like who is in the Fatima to Zahra? And they be like, oh, his wife, right? Is the wife of the prophet, right? And there's no, is the is the daughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you ask how many children do you have, they will say he had no children, what? Like he had, he was. And then so like it's it's very, uh, it's 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 
tip. Like it's just that that you know it's shocking yet not shocking, right? In a sense whereby it's uh that's the way of our that's our zaman has come to that to that level where people um they have not learned about our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Imam Marzuki you remember from his time that he put in and he put in as his emphasis to know this very you know, minimal details on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam every Muslim must know because how do you love someone that you never got to know? Right? And, and 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 this from the also from the from the attacks of our zaman right, of our time when people don't learn about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they don't love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like that when they read material that is controversial about our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and is this um, plainly you know, outright slander on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they don't automatically reject the material. Like if someone had been brought up, you know, uh, uh, or they have gone through, you know, classes whereby they fall in love with Rasulullah Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if they if they come if they stumble across material that is slander on our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, automatically they will reject it without even knowing the Dalil. Like automatically without even knowing you know, the, the, the history or without even knowing what happened, without knowing anything at all. If they see something that is slanderous or blasphemous on Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there is an automatic rejection. Because we know that is not my Prophet. Right, that is not how he's like. Right, whatever they're they're saying, whatever they're saying in the article, whatever they claim in the article, whatever they, whatever they have, they have, you know, um, you know, a twisted uh, about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Straight away, our heart will reject. Uh, but how does the heart do that in the first place? How does the heart reject uh, it in the first place? Because the heart has become acquainted with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We know him very well. You know, you know him to be fair. You know him to be to be to be merciful. You know him to be cheerful. You know him to be loving. You know him to be Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right. So, so if something comes contrary to what we know of him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, straight away, without even having learned um about that 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 particular war or that particular issue or that particular situation or whatsoever, straight away you will reject, right? Because you know you will reject straight away because you know that is not the prophet that I know. Uh, that is not his. That is not characteristic of him to be like that. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That you know is confirmed slander. You don't know. You don't know how it's slander. You don't know where's the lie. But you know it's slander. Uh, that is that, that is that that comes when you know someone very well. You know, mashallah. You know someone very well. Straight away, your heart tells you what is true and what is false about that person when you hear about that person. And that is defense. It's a defense for the believer, and it's wa- so it's wajib. That is the khati matin fi thikri baki wajibi. It's wajib. It's co- it's compulsory on every mukallaf, every sane Muslim to know. You know, uh, com- uh, uh, obligatory. It is is wajib for them to know because it protects their it protects their shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu an wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Uh, if they if they don't learn these very basic things about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and don't get started on learning more about his life then it is you know it, it basically the the shahada is is built on 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 no foundation whatsoever uh, and so when someone comes and attacks the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they have no rebuttal and they don't know how to respond right then they it they, their heart when may Allah protect us their heart will become open towards the attack set on to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they will begin to accept right this this attacks from uh, elsewhere you know subhanallah right so it's in one of the one of the clear examples we about sayyidina aisha right so many people when, they, when if you if you if you have loved rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you love sayyidina aisha when people speak about her young age being married to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam like most people will be like eh, it's the culture dah and then then you push it aside you won't you won't you won't you won't go so deep into it like it's it's his culture it's it's the culture of the time it's the people who were like that there's nothing wrong with that. It was something that was that was uh you know uh known in that in that time, uh, in in their time in their in their culture in their context. Then finish uh, and then you stop. I uh, speak of the many wives. It was a culture in the time, right? Right. So I mean, you just you will say that, and you won't have any you know, you won't you won't you won't like have that to be, to be a a factor in you that can cause you to doubt the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Or cause you to have a suuzon, a bad opinion. When I was willa, right? To have and that is that is that is a terrible thing to do, to do to have a bad opinion of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, right? Because you have learnt about him, right? So don't don't underestimate this last part, uh, you know, of uh, and the importance of teaching Sira from a very 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 young age. And it's a calamity, you know, if people find that Sira is something that is boring or something that is like they no, they don't desire it at all. And that is, and the fault, you know, of that will be on on the teachers uh, who have not presented 
the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam well, right? Because as you've gone through the serial letters uh, with Habib Omar in the past few weeks, mashallah, you know, someone the, from the heart of a be- of of a lover, right? For the beloved, they speak in very, you know, mashallah, is is very is very engaging, right? The way they they, they teach the sirah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, right? So, uh, so to 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 come into the into this this part of the of the of the poem, right? So Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Quran. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you a prophet except as a mercy for the entire world. So not just uh, the believers, but as well as the disbelievers, as well as the, the angels, the, um, the, 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 the devils, every, everything in this entire world. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He makes dua for the creation. Right? He will intercede for the creation and day of judgment. Right? Subhanallah, in, in ways that we cannot understand how He is a mercy to the entire world. But Allah, the Creator, declared. Right? Allah, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, He declared that Rasulullah is a mercy for the whole world. So, so if just the, the declaration of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is enough for us right, to understand that this matter is not a small matter. Right? It is, it is a, it's a huge matter, subhanallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, um, and, and, uh, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, I am a mercy I, that, is, uh, that is guided well by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in another verse, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Imran, لَقَدْ, لقد مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ For surely Allah has had a great blessing on the believers when Allah raised among them a prophet from amongst themselves to recite to them the verses and to purify them to teach them the book and the wisdom and for surely uh, uh, even though from before they were a stray right? so so of so the greatest mercy um, that comes through rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is guidance and that is the greatest mercy guidance in the world in in worldly life and guidance uh, uh leading us to the hereafter so even something as 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 like worldly you know as uh, not wasting water right? but rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam um uh, said to the companions do not waste water even if you're taking wudu by a running stream. Right? That, because there's a principle behind that. And there's a there's a habit behind that. That you don't waste. You Muslims are not are not are not those who are wasteful. Uh something like that. You know, uh, even to the point of how do you treat plants? You know, how do you treat plants, how do you treat animals? This is a mercy to the entire physical world. If 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 all of humanity were to follow the teachings of Rasulullah in regards to, 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 to the environment and to nature, you know, subhanAllah, we wouldn't have the kind of pollution and the kind of uh, destruction that we have in our world today. Eh? No, subhanAllah. I, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran, to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةً لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَذِيرًا وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And Allah says that we, Allah has only sent you, O Muhammad, as uh, to all of people, right, from his time to the end, to the day of judgment, in all cultures, mashallah, and that itself is a mu'ajizah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because how could it be that you know, like, is uh, have there been any human being whereby their message is so universal, it traverses uh, space and time, you know, it, tra- it traverses, it goes through uh, the uh, countries and as well as as time zones, all due to the day of judgment, no matter how far away, you know, th- more than a thousand years. More than two thousand years from from the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is still relevant. Not only relevant, it's 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 it's, uh, it's desperately needed. You know, Subhanallah. We don't, and, and, and those who say that his teachings are irrelevant, they don't understand anything about Rasulullah's teachings. Uh, it's not only it's not only relevant; it is desperately needed. Uh, that that it is we, that that not following his teachings has led humanity to being destroyed. Right now, in our zaman, they train themselves, their families, societies, and an environment, and then the entire world is at large. The kind of the kind of facade, the kind of corruption spreading through the land because of uh, staying away from the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or not trusting the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right, so, so he is a mercy to all. He is a, a warner and a bringer of good news. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But most people do not know. You know, Allah. Mashallah, the Quran. The Quran is is always very, Subhanallah, like very exactly you know on the mark. 
I have people don't appreciate the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They don't appreciate the words of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Once I went to a center, um, it's an Islamic uh, center, and it's, it's, it's um, I mean for Muslims and Muslim Muslim based, you know, and they were putting quotes on the wall, you know, to help the people who come to the center, you know, and they seek some advice or counsel or whatsoever. And then like, like it was it was you know like. For for my for myself, I felt it was you know maybe they maybe they and then for our hostels of our, our good opinion of them maybe they're not allowed to but then like to see on their walls there was there were quotes from all kinds of figures in history, like quotes from Gandhi, quotes from Mother Teresa, quotes from all kinds of figures, but not a single quote from Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know, as and and like it's supposed to be a Muslim center, you know, and it's it's um serving the Muslims. Not a single quote about Rasulullah from from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he has treasures of quotes, <laughs> right? That you go to the high hadis in the Jawami Jawami Al Kalim, right? He's been given Jawami Al Kalim. He's been given you know pre- precise, eloquent speech at every every you know sentence, every word from from his mouth, from his blessed mouth, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is a treasure in itself. Right, so it was it was sad to see that on their walls, so very beautiful posters and everything. Right, but quotes from all over the world, from a lot of different um cultures all over the world, and they, you can find wisdom from from elsewhere. And the wis uh, uh, wisdom is the lost property of the believer. You can find it elsewhere, but not a single quote from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I mean, even if you want to say it, you know you're not allowed to put something religious, at least from a great person in history, if you want to go from that angle. Because there are many great persons in history, and you can quote like Mother Teresa, you can quote Gandhi, you can quote you know all of this, um, you know uh, Nelson Mandela, and all that. You can quote all these great, all these names that that, that lived that lived on this earth, and they were also attached to a to a particular religion. Why can't you you quote any Sayyidina Muhammad bin Abdullah? Right, why his and his quote is the best right to 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 to, to address. Issues that people are facing about mercy and compassion, right, and uh, and and turning to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and calling out to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, but that is where we have come to uh, in our in our in our in our society that people they can quote, you know, uh, they, they they know and they can quote all kinds of uh, things from from other from other human beings, but the one human being that you should know all about and you should be able to quote him instead of making it compulsory on people to memorize hadith. There is a lot of sir, a lot of secrets and light in memorizing hadith. There's a sweetness in memorizing hadith, like nothing else will give you, right? In 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 memorizing, you know. Subhanallah. You know, people say that okay, you know, it's it's a foreign language. It's hard to memorize, right? But how many people out there do you know have memorized um you know songs from like Hindi movies or they memorize Korean drama or they memorize uh, because of their love for it. They memorize all these other languages because of their love for it, and they memorize like just random stuff. They don't, they might not understand, but they memorize it, right? Because they hear it so often. They memorize how these things are sung or how these things are said. Then hadith is the one thing. So maybe it's, it's uh, even even if something like is is too quick because it's it's like it's only it's only forty days of daura to memorize hadith, but put it in your life. In your life, you know, maybe every month I memorize one hadith. It's not hard. Right, every month memorize one hadith, and then and then at the end of of the of the year you memorize twelve hadith. It brings light to your heart, and it's a it's a it's a sweetness that you can that 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 nothing can, you you will not taste it anywhere else except in hadith memorization. Right, so I'm so I'm just hoping that people appreciate and they actually um they actually begin to taste it. And I, I remember myself in the in the Ruzahra when we were memorizing and they they force us on on hadith memorization. I was memorizing the Solihin. And then so many times I question myself, why am I memorizing Rasul Salihin? It's so hard <laughs> to memorize Rasul Salihin, right? Um, uh, and I will question myself, and then and then I will open up again and try to memorize it again. Um, and then you would, and then I would taste something so sweet, you know, in the memorization. And now years after, now I I appreciate that they they forced us on it, that they pushed us in the memorization. No, mashallah, he is a man like not he is a man not like other men like in the in the Nashid era. Uh, apa? How how did that go? Uh, like a uh, he is a a man. He's a human being, not like other human beings. Right, but rather he is a gem amongst all the pearls. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If only we understood. And then I think if I want to go through this part very quickly, he cannot stop at every single. Mashallah, because it's it's all about the beloved. 
I, it's all about the beloved. How do we go through the go through talking about the importance of the beloved in our aqidah, in our sharia, in our tazkia, in our uh, in our muamala, in our in our uh, uh, um, interactions with other people, in our family, every aspect of your life, he is the most important one for you to 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 look at. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a tragedy in our zaman that people are not looking at him sallallahu alaihi wasallam for solution right to whatever is going on in their life look to look his way he is a rahmatan lil alamin sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a solution to all of your your issues and your problems sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he is the strongest way by which people obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yesterday during the talk by habat talha um she she mentioned how habib habib muhammad uh, al haddar right would say to his girls you know uh, and this is how he instilled in his girls right you know what you're wearing do you, do you think it'll bring pleasure to the to, to sayyidina fatima zahra or do you think it will bring, bring pleasure to rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam make it real in their lives you know what you are doing what you are watching what you are listening to right what you are thinking what you are you know all of these things make it so so real to them right that that i know are you walking the path of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but a society that is that so far eh? We're so far right, from the reality of our beloved sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and may it be on a day of judgment that he sallallahu alaihi wasallam will not complain against us because how difficult will be the standing on a day of judgment when our beloved comes to Allah subhanahu wa taala and complains to Allah subhanahu wa taala that, my, that for surely my people they have taken the Quran as something that is abandoned. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May we not be on the side of the one being complained against. I may be on the side whereby he be pleased and smiling at us and pleased with us for having carried the amana that he has left behind. You know, taken he he has he has fulfilled the amana and he has left it in in the hands of the people after him. And they fulfilled passing it to the people after them, and now it has come into our hands. Right, so inshallah, may Allah give us the the tawfiq, the ability to pass this on strong right, to the people uh, in the end of times to bring to bring joy to the heart of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Rasul and Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Quran, say O Prophet, say Qul ya ayyuhan nasu inni Rasulullahi ilaykum jamia. الذي له ملك السماوات والأرض لا إله إلا هو يحيي ويميت فآمنوا بالله ورسوله النبي الأمي الذي يؤمن بالله وكلماته واتبعوه لعلكم تهتدون I say O oh, oh Prophet say to the people O oh people for surely I am a prophet to you to and and uh, and to uh, on, and I am I'm Allah's prophet to you and only to Allah belongs the kingdoms of the heavens and the earth there is no god worthy of worship except Allah uh, he gives life and he causes death and so believe in Allah and his prophet the unlettered uh, uh, and his messenger the, 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 the unlettered prophet who believes in Allah and his revelations and follow him so that you might be guided right and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala also did this is the and, and and so He sent to all of creation, right? And um and He is uh so all of nations, right? Is uh is the, our prophet until right, the end of time is our Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right, alhamdulillah. And and here uh uh. And so, so in understanding how Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi from the previous verse, in understanding how Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been sent to all of creation, and now comes the different uh, ways by which the different any wuju, uh, the different um, angles by which that points to him uh, being the best of Allah's creation without any any argumentation, without any uh, exception. And mashallah, when when they keep saying about that 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 book about the most influential persons in history, and the top person that 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 the, the author wrote was Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, and people like they like to talk about it and say they see even a non-Muslim, uh, even a non-Muslim put that the the, the the most influential, you know, or the greatest human being to ever live is Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even non-Muslims non-Muslims will say that, right? And they say no, see, what, you know, what what caused him, you know, to put Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name there? And the answer is. It's not him who's putting it there. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It would have not been any other way. 
Allah would not have allowed for any other way than for the book of the hundred most influential humans in 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 the history of humanity. Allah would not have allowed for any other name than Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to be number number one. Allah is in control. <laughs> Subhanahu wa taala. Uh, it's not that He chose to put Nabi Muhammad number one. Allah put Allah will not have it any other way. <laughs> Subhanahu wa taala. There's no other way. You know, mashallah. And and all over the world. And then Allah says in in uh the, the Allah says in 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 uh in Surah Duha that for surely we have raised your. Now, fortunately, we have raised your remembrance, O oh Muhammad. Right, so the first one, right, the first way right, by which we see that he is the best of all, um, the best of all of creation without any exception, is Allah's statement, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And if he is a mercy to the world, then it is it is only necessary being a mercy to the world that he is the best of all of creation. Because the most merciful of all of creation is the best of all of creation, right? Because everyone else that right, is in need of the mercy of the one who is the most merciful of the creation, and of course, is the is the one trait of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that is emphasized over and over again in the Quran when Allah begins the Quran by saying Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The 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 the, 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 the trait of rahma of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala from the very beginning, and this trait is the trait of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The more someone has a trait of rahma, the closer they get towards perfection. And of course, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is human perfection sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, number two of 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 what the proofs to us. You know, and you don't need any proofs, mashallah. Just just to know about him is enough already. You know that he's the best of the best, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But here, mashallah, the, the scholars put in the ayats to show that to show that um the proof that he's a, he's a, the the best of Allah's creation, where Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the next ayat, "Wama arusalna ka illa ka fatalin nas," and we have not sent you uh, except to all of humanity. As a bringer of good news and a warner, so the one who was sent, right, to teach the whole of humanity, the teacher of all of humanity, has to be the best of humanity. It can't be any other way. It's not possible for the, for 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 the teacher of all of humanity to not be the best one. I said, Allahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, and then um, Allahumma salli ala sidda Muhammad. And uh, and and so he is uh and amongst and amongst the prophets, right, he is the best from amongst the prophets. Then on Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I taking the um uh, taking the, the 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 pledge and the covenant uh, that was on the other prophets uh is on the other prophets to believe in Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to assist him to give him victory uh, to help him on victory if they were to meet the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where Allah subhanahu wa taala says in a very profound verse in all the ayahs are all profound uh, but in a very profound verse in Surah Al Imran where Allah subhanahu wa taala says. وَإِذْ أَخَذَ اللَّهُ مِيثَاقَ النَّبِيِّينَ لَمَا آتَيْتُكُمْ مِنْ كِتَابٍ وَحِكْمَةٍ ثُمَّ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَكُمْ لَتُؤْمِنُنَّ بِهِ وَلَتَنْسُرُنَّهُ قَالَ 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 أَقْرَرْتُمْ وَأَخَذْتُمْ عَلَى ذَلِكُمْ إِصْرِي قَالُوا أَقْرَرْنَا قال فجهدوا وأنا معكم من الشاهدين. So Allah, Allah took a covenant and a promise from all the prophets that now that Allah says that now that I have given you the book and the wisdom, if the last prophet comes to you confirming all that is with you, you must believe in him and you must worship. You 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 must support him. And then and then the pro and then Allah asks the prophets, do you do you do you uh, agree? Uh, do you affirm to this promise and do you accept this commitment? And all of the prophets says yes, we do. Then Allah bear witness, uh, and and Allah is a witness over them. So if this was placed on the prophets to follow Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then what do you think more about human beings? Other human beings, uh, about normal human beings? And uh, when he come, there is no, you know, it does not, it does not befit any human being, especially Muslims. You have to follow anyone else when you have not followed your Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As much as they want to think of think, they want to speak about all this, you know, uh, wisdom that's out there, all this, you know, self help that's out there. If you have not, if you have not spent time learning from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and learning 
of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in two ways: eh? learning from him from hadith and learning of him from his sirah and from his from his shama'il, from his description. Then you have no. I mean, your your practice are all wrong. The practice are all wrong. Learning about all other forms of uh, uh sources of knowledge. Or advice or wisdom from everyone else except for the very one whom Allah Himself gave the seal of approval. You know that He is the one that you follow if you want Allah to love Him. So Allah, uh, uh, if you want Allah to love you, uh, Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, so again, uh, uh, for us to really re- rewire, rewire ourselves and and teach those around us uh, that there's no don't look further than the the man in front of you. So Allah and there's no need and, and there's no no there is not even there's no need. We're not even able to look further than him because you can't, you can't, you can't finish learning all that he brought. That you can spend your entire life learning what he has brought. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You will never finish. You will never finish what he has brought. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You could uh, even something as as like Imam Nawawi would consider as concise, as the Solihin, you know, uh, the the guidance of the righteous. And Imam Nawawi's uh, collection. Right, even something as that, you know, you it, it probably take your entire lifetime to really study every single hadith in there, and there's not all the hadith available. There's there's there is just the, the a small amount of hadith that Imam Nawawi put aside for those who are serious about being righteous in this world. You know, Subhanallah. But to study that that, that collection of hadith, it takes it, it you know, Subhanallah. It is a it's a never ending um. It's just never ending <laughs> until you die. Until you die, you will learn this hadith, in the story here, and that's that's learning it one time round, learning it two times, three times to to read, it. and each time you get you get it more and more and more of it. So, Subhanallah, the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Already for some of us to learn the forty Nawawi, uh, uh the forty hadith of Imam Nawawi. The already the forty hadith itself, you know, is taking so many years, you know, mashallah, to just get through the forty hadith, you know, subhanallah. And what more if you go deep into the explanations of every hadith? Uh, and then what more if you implement every hadith, you know, subhanallah? How will that transform society? Right, if you only we held on to our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. Um, okay, so then, then also, th- this num- so was number three, eh? number three, number one, number two, number three. So the first one is that he's a mercy to the, all of the world. That shows his his him being, um, being uh, the best amongst creation. Number two, uh, he was sent to all of humanity. As number two, uh, so he that so so that makes him the best of uh of people. Number three, the prophets were were told to take a covenant. That if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam comes and they are and they and they see him, right, they are to follow him, right, and they are to be um and 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 they are to support him right, in his striving. That's number two. So even the prophets are being told right, that they if they meet the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they must um uh, they must follow him and they must support him. So number four is number four. Right, and so number four is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala saying. Uh, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكْ MashaAllah Right, Surah Adam, Surah Duhah, Surah Surah, 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 Surah uh, Inshirah Right, where Allah says وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكْ Right, where And we will raise for you, O Muhammad Your remembrance, O Muhammad um, and, 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 the, and the name of Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam No matter how they try to slander him And how they try to debase him You cannot What is, what is noble cannot be defiled or debased is noble in its in its entire essence. It's completely noble. You can never bring down what is noble in its essence. As right, so Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, no matter what they try to do to him, right, the more they try, the more it backfire. It, it backfires in their faces, and the more people learn about him, and the more people come into Islam because of the beautiful person that he is. And how many converts have said that? And Shah Hamza, Shah Yusuf was one of them that they only came into Islam right, because they fell in love with a human being. With a man that lived a thousand four hundred years ago, right? that was the only reason right, why they came into Islam. Right? Not because of the Muslims, but because of the leader of the Muslims, right? Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to whom right, who actually who displayed Islam to perfection, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right? So they try, they so they try to slander him. They try to get people away from the correct uh, uh, image. Or the correct um, understanding of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right, but of course, they can try all they want to try. Allah, right, Allah has said in the Quran that Allah has raised His remembrance. Allah has raised the name of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, on one on one um, way throughout the world in the azan, right, in the azan with every shahada. Right, the word uh, uh, "Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah" is being said. Um, 
when you uh, in in the in on the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when every Muslim when they pray every single day you will send salam to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you will say the shahada subhanallah and every single day subhanallah um and then number five Right, so this uh, that his 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 mention is is being raised right, by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala above all the other prophets. Then number five, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has put together the obedience of the prophet to love of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, whereby um you know, the, the, uh, sorry Allah, Allah has put the obedience of the prophet and the obedience of Allah together. I right, to obey to obey to obey the prophet is to obey Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Whereby Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "May you be a Rasul, فقد أطاع الله." Whoever has obeyed the Prophet, he has obeyed Allah. وَمَن تَوَلَّى فَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَفِيظًا. And those who turn away, then Allah has sent Nabi Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم as a guardian over them. It is up to them, and they will handle the consequences of their of their own actions. Um, and then uh, uh, the next one, number number six. Right, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has uh, put together or connected Allah's reza with the Prophet's reza, right, Allah's pleasure with the Prophet's pleasure. Where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has said right, in the verse, um, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has said in the verse, right, uh, "Wallahu wa Rasuluhu ahq." Allah and the Prophet right, together. Right, Allah and the Prophet. You bring pleasure to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You bring pleasure to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You bring pleasure to you, you bring pleasure to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You bring pleasure to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah and the Prophet. They are most deserving of you uh, to to bring to bring pleasure to them. Right, if only uh, uh, if if you are truly believers. Let's finish this part. Okay, and the last one, number number seven. She just is up to uh twelve. Let me just finish it quickly. Yeah, this is Afia's coming in with the test. Um, and then number seven, right? Whereby uh Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, right, is uh that Allah to, to respond to Allah and His Prophet. Where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Oh, you who believe, ya ayuha ladina manustajibu lillahi wa lirrasuli." Right, so to answer Allah together with the answering of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that shows the greatness of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and also Allah subhanahu wa taala says, right, um, uh, and that is number seven, then number eight, right, of the uh, of of the du'as of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi of uh, the du'as of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam are the best du'as, right, that is uh, that has come to us, and then his ummah is the best ummah that has come. And the number nine is that the be- the ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the best ummah that has been sent forth. Where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrujat lil nasi ta'muruna bil ma'arufi wa tanhauna an al munkari wa tu'minuna billah." Right, and then Allah sub- and number number ten, um, it's not here because it's it's not an ayat. Eh, so number 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 eight was not, there was no ayat, so it was not here. Number ten, I need put the ayats down. <laughs> so number ten. Um, that he is the seal of the prophet, and therefore the seal of the prophets are the best of prophets. And then number eleven is from his own words, his own hadith, where he said, "I am the Sayyid right, of the children. I am the the, the, the leader of the children of, of of Adam on the day of judgment. Wala fakhr, and I am not boasting. I have to teach people to follow him. I, and in my hand is a liwa ul hamd. In my hand is the flag of uh, of of praise. Wala fakhr." Uh, he's, and I'm not boasting. I'm just telling you all so you know who to follow, right? Um, and there is no um, and and, and there is no uh prophet, uh, there is no prophet on that day, right? Uh, whereby uh uh, Nabi Adam and those besides him, uh, whereby they are not be they are not uh with him behind him in his flag. So he will be the leader, the the flag bearer, and all the prophets will be the, will be behind him, following him. On a day of judgment, and he says, "I am the first shafi. I am the first shafi. I am the first one to to intercede, and I am the one whose intercession will be will be the first to be to be accepted." Wala fakhr, and I am not boasting. I am telling you all, right, of of his station with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Then the last um the last uh, uh indication of his of his uh greatness, Allahu Alaihi Wasallam, right, is him saying that. 
and uh, that I am the best of the of the prophets and I am not boasting I am the seal of the prophets and I am not boasting I am the first one to be to to intercede and whose intercession is is accepted and I am not boasting uh, his own hadith uh, his own state saying sallallahu uh, alaihi wasallam and is not it is not uh, it is not becoming of a servant I uh, to say that he is um and uh, uh Okay, uh, so 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 Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he informed right, his companions uh, of how he is uh, the best uh, how he is the best amongst uh, amongst all of the, uh, the, the of amongst all of the prophets and and how he is a leader on the day of judgment uh, so mashallah right um and this is not to contradict other hadith but he says do not say that I am better than Yunus bin Matta right um and 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 he said that you know first and foremost out of humility sallallahu alaihi wasallam i and also to understand that people do not think that say nabi yunus is any lesser as a prophet he is a prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also for people to not think that um uh, that that when it comes to prophethood that prophets are different they're all the same in their message as we understand and so that uh, and for people to know right that in him in him saying this right he has really said from before that he is the best of them uh, in the sense that he is the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised on the day of judgment and Allahu a'lam uh, uh, Allah, Allah, Allahu a'lam subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah we'll stop there for today and then next week uh, tomorrow we'll continue right with the other parts of the aqidah okay alhamdulillah صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين امين